everyone, we are back with another one of these CC makeovers on these starter sims that show up in CAS when you start a new game. If you haven't seen my recent videos, I've actually been doing quite a few of these. There are a lot of these sims and they're all on the gallery if you look up the EA account Maxes, And then when you click on them, they have like a whole backstory. They have traits, aspirations, and connections to the other sims that spawn in Cass. We've already done Brent. He has connections to both Kiara, who is this sim, and Ross. So we did all three of those in one episode. So feel free to go check out the past episodes as well. Today, this sim finally showed up in Cass. I say finally, but she to me is the sim that I see the most. Obviously it's randomized, but ever since starting this little series, she was the one I most wanted to do because she just, she always spawns for me. So this is Mia, I think. Mia Hayes. I love when you guys leave these comments. I totally see them. She seems very cool. So this is her description. They often have a lot of drama as well, which I love. So let's get to it. With a head for numbers and a creative eye, Mia splits her time between freelance programmer and artist gigs. Being both a bit of an introvert and a bit of a rebel, this independence suited her outlook in life. Mia has a unique way of attracting creative, high energy friends like Noah and her girlfriend Della. They love her genuine, almost kid-like enthusiasm. She is the glue that bonds her social circles together. So we also have Noah Meyer and Della Ostro here mentioned and tagged. I guess we're doing both of those sims today as well. I thought it was only gonna be Della. I did not know Noah was in here as well. Who the heck is Noah? But basically she does programming and some kind of artist gigs. She does have the painter extraordinary aspiration. So something to do with painting, drawing, something like that. And she seems like a really loyal friend. So she is self-assured. She is cheerful and creative. I need to quickly check who is Noah. I know Della. Della's actually this sim that does not show up in Cass. I forget where she was first showcased. I do not think she shows up in Cass at all, but we can still do her. Who is Noah? Oh, this guy, Noah Meyer, okay. I don't think his description mentions the other sims, but that's fine. Let's put Mia in our game so we can check out her other outfits and stuff. So this is her. I kind of like this look. She has skinny jeans. None of the other sims have skinny jeans, I feel like. Got boots, a beanie. I like the color. And then for her other outfits, oh my God, no. <laughs> this hair and this makeup, absolutely not. It looks so outdated. So her athletic wear is this. This one has similar vibes to this. I don't know about this one. This one, she looks like a mom a little bit. This is cute. Okay, I love this actually. This one's really cool with the black and the red. Obsessed. Okay, pride, yes. This is her swimwear. I like the hot weather and then the cold weather is cute as well. So there is color. I feel like there's a lot of blue. And then we have like some green and red as well. Basically we can do whatever. We can just do a lot of color for her. Would I say her style is a little bit tomboyish? Like a little bit, but maybe it's just more like casual. I like the beanies. Maybe we'll keep a beanie. This necklace has got to go. And then for her makeup, she has like really subtle lip gloss. And then the eyeshadow is horrible. So we gotta get rid of that. What is her hair? So she has this like mini ponytail and these horrible bangs. <laughs> okay, I'm being rude, but I'm just not a fan of these. So let me put her hair back. I love her nose. The eyebrows need to be changed. She's pretty cute. Side profile is great. I think once we change the eyebrows, she's already gonna look so much better. But yeah, basically I'm gonna give her a makeover with Max's Match CC. I'm not gonna change any of her features or anything like that. So she will still be the same sim, just like my version of that sim. If you want to get any of my custom content, it's all reblogged on my Tumblr, which is linked down below in the description box. I also do CC showcases every month. Wait, I forgot. So she has kind of like thick eyebrows, 
The shape I'm not vibing with. Also, like, she's blonde, but she has darker eyebrows, which I usually do that with my Sims. I really like an arch to the eyebrow or, like, a more round eyebrow. Her eyebrows were really straight, so I tried to keep them kind of similar. I think I'm gonna go with this. Next up, I want to do a skin overlay. Okay, so her skin details are done. I changed her contacts. I am trying to pick out lashes. Yeah, not these big ones. They don't go with her eye shape. These are my go-to ones recently. And then let's give her some blush and then pick out the hair. Okay, I like this blush. I'm kind of thinking this highlight is a little too much for her. So I'm going to take that off. She's super cute. So let's see what we're going to do with the hair. Oh, that's kind of cute. She didn't have like super long hair. I don't care what length we do. I like that on her. Okay, my cat has joined us. She's in my lap. But this hair, very cute. It's another shorter one. Having her hair up would be cute. <laughs> my cat is making biscuits on my thighs. And she needs to get her claws cut. I need to do that. They're a bit too sharp. I wish my microphone picked up her purring. I don't think it's going to. Oh my god, that's cute. I don't think it's her style at all, but that suits her. Wait, I forgot. I wanted to do a beanie. Okay, hold on. Oh, wait, she could definitely do a bucket hat, actually. Okay, let's just leave her in a beanie or a bucket hat so that we can test the hairs with the hat. As you can see, not all of them work. Okay, this is the hair that I tried on earlier, remember? It looks even better with a hat on. I think I'm gonna do this. Her hair was like a little bit longer maybe, but she can get her hair cut. Let's see, any more makeup? She had that horrible eyeshadow. I think we're fine without it. I'm gonna give her just a tiny bit of like bottom lash line eyeliner. And then I do wanna do her lips, but something like super neutral like this. Ooh, this is kind of cute. Yeah, I'm gonna do this and then we can move on to her outfit. She's so cute. And like I said, we can change the color of the hat at any point. What do I wanna do? I guess we can start in the bottoms category and see if anything stands out. We could do fun jeans. <laughs> what are fun jeans, you might ask? I mean, something more like this or like these or even these, I love these. Wait, she would totally wear these shorts that are like this length. I never know how to style them, but I kind of wanna try. I want a colorful top. Basically, that's it. This would be a cute summer look with something like this, like a crop top. Oh my God, adorable. She's gonna make it hard to pick just one thing. <laughs> a lot of things look so cute on her. Okay, some of my favorite things are this top. Like this is, this is cute. She can totally pull that off. I did really like the tie dye. And then I also really love this top and it does come in like greens. Maybe we'll go with the dark green. And then yeah, we just need to finish off with some shoes, maybe trainers. And then we'll do a few accessories. Okay, I'm doing these shoes and look at these cute little socks that I added as well. And then I think I'm changing the bucket hat to this denim one because it matches the shorts. So why not? I'm going to go with this smartwatch and then I gave her rainbow pride nails. And I think we're done with Mia. Oh my God, she looks like a completely different person, but in the best possible way. I love how she turned out. I've never used this hair before, but it suits her so well. And it looks so good with the hat. I like the little bit of makeup that she has and the outfit with these shorts. So cute, never used these shorts before either. Apparently Mia is getting me to use all the CC that I've never used before. She's actually one of my favorite makeovers now. Like, I'm just obsessed with this. And this is so different from any of the other ones that we've done. So she's finished. And now we have to do her friend and her girlfriend. All right, so let's do Noah first. I want to do like girl, then guy, then girl. 
Apparently he is one of her high energy friends. So this is Noah Meyer. Oh my gosh. He has the joke star aspiration, but he's not a goofball or funny. <laughs> I mean, he probably still is. So he is ambitious, outgoing, and creative. Mia was creative too. So bold and dynamic, Noah is all about using photography and film to evoke emotion and get people talking. Both on and off set, he's happiest when he's calling the shots or making people laugh. He will admit that he's maybe a little too obsessed with his Instagram followers, but they've certainly helped expand his career. Witty, confident, and motivated by success, Noah can sometimes come across as having a little too much ego, but it's all in the name of his art. Okay. Interesting character. So uh, basically, he is like Instagram famous, or Simstagram, sorry. He's very confident, he's outgoing, has a bit of an ego, and then he likes photography and film. Let's put this guy in, so let's merge him in here. This is what he looks like. I do see him sometimes in cast. I like his outfit, it's quite trendy or like, it seems like he put an effort into it. Oh wow, I love that. Okay, he has, <laughs> what the heck is this? He has a pretty good style. It's giving rich, <laughs> maybe a bit of a player. I don't like that outfit, but yeah, okay. So he is kind of stylish. He's pretty handsome. I never use this thing. Like it's not even a stubble. Like where is the lightest stubble that we have? I have this CC one. So maybe something like that is what I would use personally. But yeah, let's see what we can do with him, starting with skin overlays. Okay, we've got the eyes and the skin overlays done. Now let's change his eyebrows. Oh my god, that does so much for him already. I think I will do these ones. These are probably base game, but they did come out with like a recent, <laughs> recent, like in the last couple of years with an update. And then what do we want to do with the beard? Because I don't mind him without a beard. And you guys know I love facial hair. So I do think, yeah, he does look really good with a beard. Also, I just need to change this hair because this is distracting. Do we want to give him a little bit of something? This one looks great on him. So maybe we'll leave him with that for now. Let's pick the hair. So he just had like, I don't know, his hair was like clearly done like he used time and product in his hair this kind of reminds me of the hair that he had but this hair really suits him actually i feel like it's making him look better i think this one and then the long one this one are my favorites this one makes him look like a completely different person this one not fully this one obviously is closer to what he had but he looks so cute I wish I had just one hoop for one ear. I don't. I have this double hoop or just the base game regular hoops. Let's just do these and then let's pick his outfit. I'm kind of loving this top. We might keep the blue theme. Okay, he's cute. This suits him for sure. I could see him wearing this. Let's do this top and then find some nice bottoms. Okay, these shorts are my favorite. They don't go perfectly with this top, but I think it's good enough. I kind of want to give him like sandals or something, but is this like a bit too fancy for sandals? <laughs> I love that you can see his toes, but I'm thinking these, like look at them. They're like a perfect color match with these shorts. Wait, this color match is even better. So I think we're gonna do this and then maybe he would have like a ring. Let's do this one. And yeah, I think he's done. Um, that is not the same person. <laughs> I completely changed him, but I love this sim now. Is that Noah? I mean, it is under everything that I put on him. It is still the same sim. He just looks completely different. I love his new look. He's very handsome. He's stylish. His hair is longer. He grew it out. Oh my God, look at him with this hair in his formal wear he's so handsome obviously we've given him 
a beard as well. I just think it suits him. I think he's a good looking man. So second Zoom done. Let me know what you think in the comments. And then we have to do Mia's girlfriend next. Okay, this is the third and last thing we're doing today. I just Googled her because I am so sure she is not one of the Sims that shows up when you open cast. Am I just unlucky? Have I never seen her? Because on the Sims wiki, it does say she's one of them Sims, but then it also says that her hair appears red in cast. So I'm confused. I swear I've never had her pop up in cast. I do know her. She is actually on the Sims 4 cover with Mia and with Noah. They're all three on the cover. I've also done a couple of these other Sims in the last episode. We did the two on the top left. But yeah, let's read what Della is all about. I've never heard that name before, but it says, as a kid, Della lived all over the world, shadowing her mom a globally sought after fashion photographer. Okay, that's very cool. That experience gave Della an inherent sense of optimism and a deep entrepreneurial spirit. She recently launched her first fashion line and her unique pieces and global style is starting to get press. Her girlfriend Mia, a designer in her own right, helps keep her informed of trends outside the fashion industry. So she is cheerful and creative and ambitious. She actually has the Renaissance Sim aspiration. I love that all three of them are creative. So let's merge her in. Like, come on, I did not see the Simming cast. What is this blush, first of all? I feel like I'm yelling. This blush is too much. You need to tone that down. It almost looks like clown makeup, just the blush. Obviously her lipstick and her eyeshadow is meant to match her hair. Clearly purple is like her favorite color. And then her outfit, I really dislike. She's supposed to be extremely fashionable, but maybe she has a unique style. I don't know, let's check out her other looks. This I love, we have the purple. Very cool outfit, is this base game? Why don't I recognize this, whatever. So this is her sportswear, a lot of color again, sure. Sleepwear is cute. I like the black and purple, but I feel like if we do black and purple, we're kind of toning her down because she's a very colorful person, but that looks very good on her. We have black and purple again. Really dislike this. I would not call that fashionable. We have a lot of color going on. Okay. Black and purple again. Cute. And then this is, this is a mess. <laughs> I'm not a fan of these outfits. In fact, I just need to get rid of this. We're doing nothing like this whatsoever. I'm just gonna put her in a dress because what the heck was that? And um, we will keep the purple here, obviously. We'll just put it up for now. Oh my God, she was hiding these huge feather earrings. She has a really, really cute face. The makeup has got to go. Like that blush is too much. Come on, where is it? So just take this and then take this. And I'm like, come on, that's so much better. Anyways, it is um all coming off. She's very pretty. I feel like we're gonna make a stunning sim out of her. <laughs> oh my god, she looks so different already. But she is our fashion designer. I want to make her look very fashionable. Okay, those are cute. Um, let's just do the eyes now. And then we will instantly put some skin overlays on her. We will keep the beauty spot, mole, whatever. Okay, I think that's the skin details done. She's very cute. We need to give her lashes. I think I want to do these ones from Twisted Cat. Should her eyebrows be like a little bit longer? I don't even know. Um, I want to do her makeup. I want to give her more than just a gloss, probably. I feel like a matte lip, something like this could be really cute. Wait, I like the matte, but these two glosses look really good. This one and this one. Okay, I'm gonna do this and then turn down the opacity a bunch. I think that's cute. And yeah, we're not gonna do blush like that. We're gonna do something that actually suits her face shape and then also isn't like bright pink. <laughs> that's very pretty. And then I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I don't want it to be too much. Like girl needs to learn how to blend. I feel like she would be stunning with brown eyes. Just saying, like, oh my God, stunning. But we're obviously gonna keep the eye color that she had. And then let's pick her hair. So she had hair to about here. Um, We're just gonna do whatever we want, honestly. 
professional and stylish. That's what we're going for. Oh, she kind of suits short hair. I love that. Oh my God, look at the shade. This is the same purple, but it's just the CC hair. That shade actually really suits her. I like that. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's stunning. So is that. Oh my gosh. I do have these, which are universal hair overlays. So if I take off the contacts, because they're in the same category, I can change the color of the hair from here to get a better purple. Oh my God, stunning. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do this for her hair. Let me finish her makeup. She could definitely have an eyeshadow. I keep forgetting how much purple makeup she had on. And then I try on something like this and I get flashbacks. But this one's actually really nice, so I might do that. But there we go. And now we can do her outfit. Yeah, let's just start in full body. Why not? I don't really have an idea. But like I said, I do want it to be a professional look. And I want to do something really flattering for her. I like this. This is very cool. And we have a lot of colors to choose from. Wait, what about this? Oh, that's so cute. I've moved on to the top category and this top is pretty cool. Okay, why do green and purple actually look so good together? I also love her in like this color. Stunning. Okay, listen, I can't tell if this is just a ridiculous outfit or if it kind of looks good because it kind of looks good to me. But I think I've just been staring at Cass for like five hours now and I don't know what I'm doing. I really like this swatch and I also really like this. And I know it's like super bright green and it's like blinding you, but it kind of works in my head. And I want her to have like an extra outfit. Maybe the purple color with this skirt is the safe choice. I'm gonna go with it. I need to make up my mind. I've literally been going back and forth on the swatches for like at least 15 minutes. Wait, I wanna do a bag. I need a bag right now. I don't have that many bags. We have this little one, but I feel like I want like a full cross body one, like the heart. We do have the heart. I mean, I also have this bag. I feel like brown boots and brown bag kind of complement this outfit. I don't know. Ooh, that's kind of cute. Okay, okay, okay. Let's finish this off with some rings. There we go. And then we'll do long nails. I'm thinking purple. Do we have a dark purple? We do. Oh, stunning. Honestly, this outfit, like I said, I've been staring at Cass for hours. I think it looks good but I might get roasted by you guys. The last thing we need is just some big earrings. Okay, we'll do these earrings. They're not the biggest, but I like them with this outfit. But let me just go ahead and create a second outfit with that dress that I really, really liked earlier. This one, I think we need to do it. <laughs> she needs two outfits. The first one is a little bit much. So we have this outfit simple cute and then we also have this outfit which is a lot more but let me know what you think here is the finished della she looks completely different like completely i'm so unsure about this outfit but i'm just gonna go with it let me know what you think i think the top is a really cool piece it's from aretha if you want to go and get it but i love her hair i love her makeup yeah, I think she's stunning. So we have finished Della, we have finished Noah, and also Mia. I think Mia is my favorite from today's episode. So let me know what you think in the comments down below and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Which other starter sims should I still give makeovers to? And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.